G'day, it's Adrian here from Using Technology Better with a short video about how to set up delegate mail access in Gmail. Now, delegate mail access is where you give permission for someone else to answer and respond to your emails on your behalf. So it's delegated to them. So typically you will do this as an EA or a PA in that kind of role, but you might also have other functions that you may want to do this or other kind of roles that will lead to this. So how do we set that up? So I'm in this demo account over here at the moment. And so I'm Mitchell. And so Mitchell wants to delegate his email to someone else. So the person who wants to delegate the email must start this process. So what he does is he comes across to his settings cog come to see your settings. And what you want to do is come to accounts. And as you come scrolling down, you've got one here that says grant access to your account. So this is where you are going to delegate your account to someone else. So if we go add another account, it'll ask for their email address. And then from here, you go next step. And it just checks again. So you might not be able to read this. I'll see if I can blow it up a bit bigger for you. It actually says you're about to you know, delegate your email to someone else. Are you happy to do this? And the answer is yes. And that will then send an email to the person that you want to delegate to. Now let's jump across to their account and see what happens at their end. So Mitchell has now done it. Now a couple of things before we go and check to make sure Adrian, which is me, says yes, let's have a scroll down here because there's a couple of things that you may want to change. So down the bottom, you've got a couple of bits and pieces. Now think about your workflow in terms of the way in which you want these settings to be. So the first one is, you can actually say when someone else has read an email on your behalf, you can mark the conversation as read. Now that means that your inbox basically is being managed completely by someone else. And once they read something, it's gonna be marked as read. Or you can leave the conversation as unread if it's opened by others. Now you just need to have a conversation around this to work out what works the best workflow for you. Because if people are answering on your behalf, you might want to keep track of it, but there's a couple other ways you can do it by using labels as well, but that's the first decision you need to make. The second decision is just similar, it's down over here, which is the sender information. So when the email goes out from your email address for your inbox from another person, so from your delegate, then do you want to have it say, show the address at center as well as in brackets sent by Adrian. So it could be email from Mitchell sent by Adrian. Now, do you want that to be there? Well, if you don't, you can then tick on that little box there. The good thing about having sent by so-and-so, they know that it's come out of Mitchell's account, but you're acting on his behalf. Okay, so there's the kind of choices that you need to make in that area. I'm gonna leave them like that. And once I'm done and dusted with that, I'm very happy. Let's jump into the other account, so Adrian's account, and have a look at what it looks like when the email comes through. So if we squeeze through here, oh look, it says Mitchell has granted you access to their account. So if I click on that now, it says, all right, do you want to actually grab access? Oh, yes, please. I can click on this link here. It will then take me to this window. It says, okay, you're gonna now confirm and send email on behalf of Mitchell. If I then go confirm, that's all done and dusted. Now that will take a while to come through into my account. It can take a couple of hours, um, but it will come through. So let's jump back into here, come back to my mail. Let's refresh that window to see if it's actually come through. I would think it hasn't, but we could be really lucky. So to see if you've been granted delegate access across here, see how there is a um, your icon, click on that, and down here will be your delegated Access. So notice Mitchell's has come through nearly straight away for me, which is pretty amazing. So if I click on Mitchell's now, I get taken to his inbox. Now this is still in my account. Now if you have a look at the top here, you've got my account, which is Adrian. I can tell because I've got my face here. And I come to this one here. I can see that I'm in Mitchell's account here because it's got the M there, but it looks very similar to mine. So what you can do if you wish to, you can come into your account, come up to your settings, and change the theme of it so it looks different. So when you switch between the two, you'll then obviously be able to tell which account you're in. So if I'm in Mitchell's, I can do everything I would normally as Mitchell, because I'm his delegate, and I can do all the actions that I need to here. There are some tips and tricks around how you can use labels to make your workflow go easily, especially when you're a delegate to an, uh, an email address. However, in this video, I just wanted to show you how to set up that delegated email address. So I hope that helps. Good luck with your delegation and good luck with being a delegee, if that's such a word.